Question number 11, Claire Curran. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Broadcasting. What advice and reports, if any, has he received about the Right Honourable John Key's electorate chair, Stephen McElray's potential conflict of interest in his role as a board member of New Zealand On Air? The Honourable Craig Foss. None. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker, the Minister in the House has received reports which point to that conflict. Uh, there have been documents tabled in the House which indicate order, that conflict. Order, order, forgive me, but this is not a point of order. The member may be surprised by the Minister's answer. That's his right to whatever, but, uh, but the, his colleague asked a question and the Minister gave a very clear answer to it. No point of order can, can dispute that. Uh, Claire Curran. Supplementary. When and from whom did he first receive reports that Mr McElray was working with a Media Works staff member making decisions about individual documentaries? The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, Mr Speaker, I came aware of that from media reports or maybe something from the member a few weeks ago. Claire Curran. Supplementary. What role did Mr McElray play in selecting the production company for the Fana Aura programme? The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the various working groups for New Zealand On Air work uh, as they have now for about 15 years and all decisions of those various groups which decide such matters, um, I understand, are uh, always unanimous. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, this was a question not about the working group which involved Media Works, but the selection of Media Works to be involved in the documentary. I think that the, I mean, the Minister, I think, understands the difference. In order to difference. save time, no, if we don't go down that track, in order to save time, invite Claire Curran to repeat a question so there can be no misunderstanding. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What role did Mr McElroy, McElroy play in selecting the production company for the Fana Aura programme? The Honourable Craig Foss. Yeah, sorry, I, I, I don't know um, of that. The, it's part of the working group process which has been going on with New Zealand on here for quite some time. I don't know the answer to the specifics of that question and I, and I do not get involved in operational matters of the board. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. What, once again, we have a minister saying he doesn't know what the process is, but it's the same as it's always been. No, no, they order, both can't order, be order, true. Order, no, the member cannot... It's the minister's answer in this House and members must take their word, and, and uh, unless, of course, they can subsequently produce evidence that they may have been wrong. But what the minister just said was he didn't know what role the, the particular gentleman, uh, Stephen McElray, had played in the, in the selection of the production company. That was a very clear answer to the previous supplementary question, and we have to take the minister's word at that. We can't dispute that by way of point of order. Uh, that's nothing to do with the order of the House. The Minister has answered the question, and he must be accountable for his answer. And uh, members have got the chance to dig further into it, either further supplementaries or in the future, and Ministers have to be accountable for their answers. Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, that would have been absolutely right if the Minister didn't then go on to say that the process is the same as it has always been. It is, it is, it is not possible for him both to say, I don't know, and the process is the same as it's well, always order. been. Uh, but I'm not sure I need help on this because the, an the, the answer is perfectly uh, possible that in fact he doesn't have the specific information about the role any particular person played yet he's been advised that the process is, is the same as has been adopted for, uh, for years and, and I have to take, and th there's nothing in conflict about uh, the Minister's answer in that regard. Uh, Claire Curran, supplementary question. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Is he aware of the working title of the fourth documentary in this series, the title of which has hitherto been withheld, and if so, what is it? The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, Mr Speaker, I have no idea what the title of that particular programme is. I do not get involved in operational matters of the board. Claire Curran. Has he received an assurance from either the Prime Minister or Mr McElray 
that none of the New Zealand On Air matters that Mr McElray has been involved in have been shared with either the Prime Minister or his office. The Honourable Craig Foss. Uh, Mr Speaker, I've uh, sought uh, discussions with the Chair of the Board and he has full confidence in the Board. I have neither sought uh, any other communications along those lines from anybody else. Question number 12, Chris Ochenvold. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is...